Hello, good morning. I thought I would start this video on the road because I decided to film a what you can do in Rome during the pandemic. And I thought today it would be a great day to show you because I'm not actually going to Rome, but I'm going to all the villages surrounding Rome. So if, for example, in Rome, you can't do a lot of things, I thought I'd show you what you can do out and about Rome and all you have to do is grab a chain or a bus. And then next week, one day I want to be going to Rome because tomorrow is raining. Today's currently Saturday. Tomorrow's raining and I'm out of breath. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I would just, yeah, show you what you can do around Rome the next week in Rome. And it's probably the worst clip I've ever filmed. <laughs> but hey ho. I'm on the way to grab the bus to meet Nina and then we're gonna have like a little tour of the Castelli Romani which are the castles that surround Rome so they're a bit higher up than Rome so basically from every village you can actually see Rome so yeah let's go Good morning, it is currently Friday morning. It is, I don't know what that noise is, but it is half past eight and today I have decided to pop into Rome, seeing as we're now in a yellow zone and we can travel around Lazio, which is the region that I live in. So I'm allowed to go to Rome. So I thought that, cause the other day I sh showed you everything you could do like on the outskirts of Rome. Today I show you what you could do or what I would personally do um, on a morning in Rome. So I'm actually gonna try go see the Colosseum, see the Fontana di Drevi And I'm also gonna do some shopping because soon it's my birthday. So I'm just gonna show you around a little bit um, Yeah, obviously I think you'll get a gist of what you can and can't do from what you see and there's obviously loads of other things to see in Rome as Rome is massive <laughs> But yeah, I can't do that all in the morning because I'm working this afternoon so yeah, that's what I'm planning to do today. Then I think on Sunday, I'm also gonna go for lunch with my friends. So I will also show you what's gonna happen then just because tomorrow, um, Saturday, is meant to rain. So I don't think I'll do anything tomorrow, just Sunday. Um, so let's go, I need to go get the train because I'm gonna miss it. <laughs>
I've just arrived at the Coliseum and half of it seems to be under construction. Oh my god, look! I don't know if I can turn it around. So literally about two months ago I had some pictures here on this walkway and now it's everything under construction. And also that tower was never under construction before. So it's a bit weird, it's full of police. So it's a bit of an awkward time. Also they used to have like ticket offices and apparently the closing seems open now. But I cannot see over the in. So inside here is the Roman Forum. Now normally if you get a ticket to the Coliseum, you also get a ticket to this. So I just thought I'd come a bit closer. But I can't actually go in. You can see like there's like a church. I can't go in. But I'm actually gonna go around. So if you can see this is all the building work I think they're doing in the metro line. I and mean, that is the Coliseum. do is rent these like uber scooters I mean you just need an app on your phone and I think yeah you scan it president or whatever he is makes all the decisions and every night it's on the telly <laughs> and literally that is Zara so <laughs> imagine
So the other day I went to Castelli Romani, which are the Roman castles that surround Rome. Now, to all of these places I hopped on and off buses. Buses are meant to be one euro and ten cents and they actually give you this. Um, if you see it's Cotral, Cotral is basically the, the brand of the buses. Um, and this is would be a ticket, as it says, one at ten. And this gets you kind of all around where you want to go. I do have to say, nobody uses them. I recommend having one in your bag just in case anyone asks you. But you can get on and off buses without actually having to the ticket. So obviously we didn't pay for any tickets when we went last week. So we went through Grotta Ferrata, we went for breakfast and went through the castle. Then we went up to Roca de Papa just to see the view. Then we went back down and went to Albano where we had lunch. And in Albano we didn't really do a lot, we literally just sat down and chatted, we went into a few shops. And then from Albano we went to Castel Gandolfo and this is where we mainly did everything. Castel Gandolfo is where you can easily get down to Lago Albano, which is the massive lake in Rome. And here we went to the Pope's palace. Castel Gandolfo is where the Pope has his summer house, it's where he spends the summer. So we paid to go into his palace kind of gardens now you can choose either to go into the palace or to the gardens or both but it's obviously different prices now normally you can also choose between a walking tour which is the one that we did or you can also get on a kind of golf cart and they just take you around which is obviously much easier to do if you don't want to walk now the tours were 12 euros each with a student discount, they were five euros, so that's what I got. I got a student discount with my ESN card. But yeah, it was 12 euros for the walking tour and I think 15 euros maybe for the, for the golf cart tour. And then if you wanted to add kind of that tour to the palace tour, it's kind of like a 30, 40 euro kind of bunch deal. But I didn't do the palace. I thought I'd probably just do that another day because I really fancied seeing the gardens. That is all we did. Then literally we got back here and had a drink, we had a bubble tea, and oh yeah, and when we got back, it was after six o'clock, and you're not allowed to sit outside of restaurants after a certain time, so we had to sit in the street and drink our bubble tea, and that was it basically, so what I spent that day, I spent on lunch, snacks, and a five euro entrance to the gardens, which is great. And then timings of the buses depend be between each village, it's about 10-20 minutes and that's all. This morning I decided to go there on a train and the train takes about 35 minutes and it costs 2 euros 10 cents. You can either buy a ticket in the station itself or you can use the app Trenitalia and you can just buy the ticket online and just kind of show the person if they come through. Today they actually didn't come through, those people obviously don't buy the tickets but most of the times that I've been on a train they do come and ask for a ticket so I would recommend definitely buying a ticket for the trains and it's only like two euros so it's not bad at all and that took me into Roma Termini which is the center of Rome and from there if you like the stations here and if you just go downstairs there's a metro station and I grabbed a metro to the Colosseum and it was two stops literally about two minutes and the metro you can pay with the contactless on your phone you just like literally when you go through the doors just like tap it on and it goes out straight away I think it's about one euro one euro fifty and I got to the Colosseum and from the Colosseum I walked straight through the Foro Romani which is the the ruins I'd say all of the ruins in Rome it's just one long street so you've got the Colosseum here one long street of ruins and at the end is where the military base is which is the big white building and then if you continue down that street that you have the Trevi Fountain and then if you continue straight you have the Via del Corso which is the main shopping street in Rome oh and then on the way back I decided to get a bus from Via del Corso, which is where I was, right to Termini, and again, buses in Rome, you don't really pay, so I didn't pay for that bus. Then from Termini, I got another metro to Ananina, which is the outskirts of Rome, and that metro is the same price as before, so 150. And then from Ananina, I got on a bus which brought me straight back home, and uh, the bus took about 30 to 40 minutes, it also depends on traffic, and the metro takes about 20 minutes, so it took me about uh, just over an hour to get home, and it cost me one euro fifty because I didn't pay for either of the other two buses. So as you can see, travel is really really cheap. 
and to be honest you can literally do loads and loads of things and the best thing about it is there's no tourists so all the main attractions were literally for me i felt so like privileged to be there hello it is now currently a week after i went to rome for the last time and I was just gonna kind of give you a sum up of what you can and can't do. Now this is obviously all when we're in the yellow zone, which is kind of like tier one, if you compare it to England, whereas they are talking about maybe next week or the coming weeks, we'll be going back to orange, which is kind of a tier two, more, more quarantine, more lockdown type stage. So this is all being that you are actually in Rome at the moment, not obviously a tourist, because you cannot do, you cannot travel. And yeah, in the yellow zone. So anyway, the first time I didn't actually go into Rome, I went through Castelli Romani, which I've already kind of explained to you. You just get the bus around, the bus is normally free, and if not, the train is only two euros. And yeah, Castelli Romani, you can go around. It's more of an outsidey thing to do. There is a lake, a gorgeous lake you can go and visit. You can also go to the bars, go have like an Aperol Spritz, which is like the typical cocktail here in Italy. And yeah, you can kind of walk around, go into the shops, go to the bars, but it's more of a nature type thing. So do more touristy things like we went to the gardens and the gardens were, yeah, five euros if you're a student and if not, 12 euros. But there's loads of different museums and things like that that you can do. Now, apparently museums are only open during the week, whereas that was actually open because it's outdoors. So you just kind of have to do your research beforehand. And then the next time I went to Rome, I actually did go into the centre of Rome. I went on a Friday morning. Now, I did actually go the next Sunday as well, and it was packed compared to the Friday. So I would recommend going during the week and also at the, in the morning to see everything in its full blossom kind of without full bloom. <laughs> without all the tourists or everyone kind of going to work or kids finishing school blah 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 so yeah i did go through the coliseum although the coliseum is under repair well not really repair they are actually creating a new metro line under the coliseum so that basically you couldn't really see anything then you walk from the street up to the military base and on that street is the Foli romani which is all the old ruins which is gorgeous to see normally you can also go inside there when you pay for the coliseum entrance um i'll put the prices up here because i don't actually know the prices of the coliseum as i've never actually been inside yet but yeah that is gorgeous to see even from outside so if you're going actually into the ruins it would be gorgeous as well and then you go up to like the military base which is in fact piazza venezia i think it is and there is also the trojan trojan column i think it's called columna Tro I, don't know. I don't know how to say it <laughs> and there is a couple of churches and like domes there which are really gorgeous as well the military base is obviously filled with military people outside normally you can actually go inside and if you go inside the you can go inside for free i think you go up the stairs and then there's like a look a viewpoint which you can get in a, a lift and it takes you up which is also free or i think you have to pay i don't actually know because i've never been but obviously these things you can't do at, at the weekend um the, these would be more things to do like in a normal day in rome and then from there i walked up to the Fontana de Trevi, the Trevi fountain, and it was absolutely gorgeous. Policemen there all the time, checking that everybody's got their mask on, that they're not doing things they shouldn't be doing. And the first time I actually went to the Trevi fountain, you couldn't actually go down to the water, and now you can. So that's why they're kind of guarding it more, and they did stop a couple of people without masks and fine people, so you have to be careful. But it was amazing to see, because I went back on the Sunday and it was packed, but on the Friday there was like nobody, it was amazing. And then I just spent the day shopping. <laughs> And then one well, of my friends yesterday actually went to the beach, so you can also go to the beach, sit on the beach, have a picnic, have some drinks, watch the sunset, which is another amazing idea. And then next weekend we're hopefully going for lunch for my birthday and now for lunch or for dinner. If you're inside the restaurant, it's a maximum of four people per table, so if they're more than four, then they will separate you into different tables. But yeah, there's not really much more you can do. I will 100% advise you if you get the train to download this app here, the Trenitalia app and you can buy the ticket directly on your phone because it's much easier otherwise you have to buy the ticket you get a, a physical ticket but then you have to stamp the ticket and then blah, blah 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 so it's much easier to have everything on your phone and as I say with the bus normally just have one ticket in your bag just in case they do ask you for it and you can buy the tickets in any bar or restaurant or like um tobacconist but it's not really 
something you need. <laughs> Um, I haven't, I think I've paid for like two buses since I've been here in three, four months. So that is it. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you are coming to Rome, tell me what you're doing below. Obviously, I think everyone wants to come to Rome when this is done anyway. So if you do, um, let me know what you do. And I hope you enjoyed it. I know people can't travel right now and I am sorry for the people that are stuck inside or yeah that can't do as many things i just didn't want to brag i just wanted to say what we could and couldn't do and that may all change next week so this is kind of a weekly thing anyway so yeah there's no bragging going on here i just wanted to let you know what i can do and maybe take your mind off your situation if you can't actually leave the house then maybe you can see someone that does and hopefully it doesn't make you jealous or angry it just makes you forget a little bit so yeah I will see you soon for another video. Sorry about the backlight, by the way. It's really, really sunny. Like the weather is starting to be really good now. It's the 21st of Feb and it's about 15, 16 degrees um, all this week. So it's getting much better. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you soon for another video.